Excellency, since the beginning of this week, we had workshop preparing this conference. We had seminars on banking and finance law. We had leading law firm meeting. We had young lawyers development workshop. We had women lawyers network for discussion and in-house lawyers forum. Today, conference deal with the role of law and lawyers in the economic development of their communities. Your Excellency, we are all committed as lawyers within the East African community to develop our region and make it the regional body and countries growing. We work tirelessly to ensure the cross-border trades in all sectors is a reality. Lawyers uh, should lead by example. We lawyers must be committed to the ethics. We have a special formation. We have a special uh, uh, status in the society. Lawyers are special people. They must live according to the best ethics parameters and paramounts. Your Excellency, they have been here since Sunday doing one or two activities each day and they are here presumably for longer. I got the MC as indicating they could be here until Christmas. <laughs> East African lawyers face challenges while conducting their activities across borders, including lack of harmonization and lack of proper regulation. We will continue to offer every support to resolve this. The East African community is the institutional embodiment of our region's political will to integrate our economies and cooperate closely. Among our achievements are the customs union, the common market, and the ability of our citizens, more often than not, to travel freely. I want to emphasize that your voices are very much needed to keep the integration agenda on track. Indeed, the survival of our East African community depends on professionals like you. To deepen the economic integration agenda, which includes trade in services, qualified lawyers should be able to practice anywhere in the East African community without <laughs> unnecessary <laughs> removing unnecessary barriers. <laughs>